Hey guys, Pork FCB here. And today we are going to be doing the Everton v Bournemouth review. Um, so I wasn't really at this game, but one thing I can say is that um, all the Bournemouth and Everton players were wearing their 96 shirts, as you can see from the picture on the screen, uh, to respect um, the justice given to the the 96 one. Uh, the judges decided and we were unlawfully killed. And also the truth in Scott, well, Scotland Field, I think it happened three years ago, which is good to see. Really yeah, and also I obviously know that we lost 2-1, but Matt was there, and sadly he couldn't take the vlog, uh, there was a bit of a technical difficulty, but um, <laughs> but we will get straight into this, and Matt can talk mostly about the game. Oh, okay, so at the start of the game we mentioned about the Hillsborough disaster, it was really pretty emotional for the start, as like we're all clapping and everything, and that, and then at the start of the game, so... Cleverly made it 1-0 with a goal, good goal, bottom right hand corner until an instant reply from Mark Pugh, which is controversial about the free kick that Everton should have got as Wilson pushed uh, Everton defender, when crossed it in, came with deflection of a player and then Pugh was there to take it under Howard. And I think it could, should have been a free kick because it was a push on the defender so he could go to cross. Um, but yeah, then Everton went on to score their final goal um, from Leighton Baines. Yeah. So, just to run us through that one. I, I really forgot the goal, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I can't See, from the pictures, it looks like it like kind of fell out to Leighton Baines, and then he kind of just like hit it. Oh yeah, it was the rebound. I think it went like top like, right at the top of the roof of the net. It was pretty just a, re a normal rebound, I can't really explain much about it. All I can say is just a goal and a rebound, pretty much. And he's throwing it Everton for sure, and it's amazing beans. Yeah, well, that, 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 that was great information you gave us there. <laughs> anyway, both yeah. teams going into the game weren't in very good form, but um, looking at how we should improve um, for next game, which is against West Brom at home, um, if we win, we actually confirm our... our um, status in the top flight next year, or if Norwich or Sunderland lose, how do we need to improve from our last game? That not really sure. I think we need a new goalkeeper, in my opinion. But well, Alex Burke makes those good saves. I mean, next in... game, not like in the summer transfer window. Oh. <laughs> no, but if we could have just done it, just get like a new keeper or something, because Alex Burke, he is getting pretty old. And also, even though he does make really good saves, like really, really good saves, I remember some last season, um, we, st we need better, we need more consistency, we need, we have, we've hardly had any clean sheets, I don't even know how many clean sheets we've had, the only one I remember was the game against Sunderland. Chelsea, <coughs> sorry, I look after. And Chelsea. And when we're and Norwich, and Norwich, and Norwich, <laughs> and Norwich, yeah. Anyway, um, um, obviously Callum Wilson returning to the starting lineup. Uh, what's your opinion on him? Well, Callum Wilson, he's not. He didn't look like a goal scoring player. He did a, he did a lot of passing. I couldn't really see much what he did. I like, did play good. Like he didn't really make many mistakes. But I couldn't really judge from the seventy minutes he played in the game. Yeah. Um. And, uh, and that'll be a problem. But um, also, Harry Arter will turn into the starting lineup, which is a great positive for the team. Getting that energy back in. Yeah, and Harry Arter against Everton was really, really good. He like, did some good dribbling past the players, some good passing. Can't really explain much about him. Um, but, you know, moving on to our, our next game, which is West Brom at home. The team, is, um, the, the, the team has had a knock in the head, because Sunderland, Norwich and Newcastle are all doing quite well, and we can still get relegated, I don't think the team realised that, and I think since we got that win against Swansea, I think, our last win, the team thought we, we're going we're gonna to stay up, it's going to be okay, and then since that, and the team realised that we haven't, the team can't get back into its flow, and that is going to be a problem for Bournemouth, because we need to, no matter what time of the, time of the season, we need to keep getting wins. Well, no matter what, even if you're guaranteed the title, even if they're still guaranteed the title, they still want more wins. And they don't want their job to get over. If they want their job to get over, until they realise that they might, if they just keep on 
losing somebody just dropping form, they might have not been that feeling that they've been they have been able to be comfortable with. Bournemouth fans, although even if we stay in the Premier League, which we probably will, because our oh, Norwich Sunderland and we can't if we don't win a game and Norwich and Sunderland do win all of their games, I highly doubt we'll go go down. But if we do, we still have a chance to, and it's going to be a real problem because if as long as Norwich and Sunderland don't win both their games, we can stay up. But it's going to be a problem because the fans still come over to Liverpool to see us win. But we don't win. That's our problem. We need to carry on winning games for the fans, if anything, because they're the ones paying to come and see the game. And um, it just doesn't look like the fight we had at the start of the season when we were around the relegation zone. We don't have the same fight. But anyway, that guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. There'll be a predicted lineups video and a preview for the West Brom Javelin game, as always. And this summer there'll be a vlog, won't there? And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.